Hello. Today is Saturday. Happy Saturday. Did you sleep in? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, hopefully you slept in. Today is Saturday and we're going to be reading from Psalm chapter 11. And today's our last day of reading Psalms for a bit. So tomorrow we're going to go back to Exodus. But for now, this is our last Psalm. And here we see that the people tell Psalmist to run away, do this, do that. But then, you know, he says, I'm going to trust in God. I'm going to go to God. So remember Pastor Ellen yesterday, uh, the way she ended yesterday was that God is our sure help. You know, we don't need to trust in people, we shouldn't trust in people, because God uh, is our help. And in today's psalm, we see how, right? Um, you know, there's a lot of contrast here. Uh, there's, you know, people say, you know, flee like a bird to your mountain. Now, you know, what is the highest mountain that we have on earth? Mount Everest. There's the highest peak that you can go to. But the thing is, no matter how high, it's still earth, right? right. We're the still highest under point earth. is still under, right? It's, it's under the sky. Mm -hmm. Where is God? He is on his heavenly throne. Mm -hmm. So you, throughout this uh, whole psalm, there is the idea of, you know, even the foundation that you, uh, that you stand on, verse 3, that may be destroyed or whatever, no matter how firm you make it, it's still the ground. It's still mm -hmm. the earth. We are still kind of locked down, pressed down by gravity, and God is in heaven. His throne is in heaven and he's looking down. He's watching you. Yeah. And that is how he is our sure help, right? Now, this is also a little bit hard for us to understand and grasp because we're, we are pretty much literally bound to this earth, to this ground. Uh, we're here. So, in your perspective, think of like ants, looking at ants on the ground, creeping, crawling. You know, what little do, do they see? Do they really know? And you're kind of looking down. You can do anything you want. You could help them, you could smush them. But, you know, that's kind of like what, it's, it's only a little bit of what, you know, it is like with God. God is in heaven looking down, and that really is the foundation, uh, to use the same word here, but um, of how he can help us. He can surely help us. He's so much higher than and above what we can know and understand, and that is really how he can help. Because he sees all, he knows yes. all, mm -hmm. and he... That's his power, that he is above us. Mm -hmm. And then if you go to verse 5, it says, The Lord examines both the righteous and the wicked. So, and then the next three verses are talking about judgment. So even though when we live our, you know, we our, our vision, we cannot really look up to heaven and we cannot see with God's eyes. We just see with our human eyes. We look straight forward and around us and we see a lot of evil. And we see that this evil is not being immediately judged. You know, every mean person, it's not like God, you know, like that kid acts mean and got boing and then they go, oh! And then you would be like, like, okay, I'm living a good life and God is definitely judging those bad people, right? You would think that. But many times we see these people normally walking around, hoo-hoo-ha-haing, and then sneering and all the bad, the wicked lists from before, right? So we see that and we see, you know, like, oh, I, re I really wish that God would judge. But here we see that the Lord examines or he judges the righteous, the wicked, and he hates uh, those who love violence. He hates with a passion. And then on the wicked, he will rain down the fiery coals, for the Lord is righteous. He loves justice. It literally says, both versions say, he loves justice. Okay, so he's not letting things pass. Um, we get discouraged when we think, man, maybe I should stop living for God. It's pretty hard, okay? You cannot, if you try with your own strength, it's very hard. We really have to rely on God to do that. So God loves justice, and the upright will see his, his face, okay? I think that just means like we're going to be close to him. We have that, that relationship with him again. So we're going to see his face. We're going to be, um, you know, like Moses, like the people, they're like, oh, I don't know God. I, I only fear God. And sometimes we need that fear of God. And I know for us um, in the Bible, when we read about God, it, it makes us fear God a little bit. But keep in mind that God loves you so much and he wants to draw near to you and have a relationship with you. And all of the things that are hard to do, right, like to live for God is too hard. That's uh, with our own strength, it's impossible, and it is definitely too hard. No one can do it. I don't recommend it. Don't do it. Okay? We just, as, as long as we have that relationship with God, He who is up there, He's looking at us, and we, we look at Him and say, You know, God, I know you see all this, so I'm going to put this in your hands, and I'm going to trust in you. I'm going to praise you. I'm going to believe in you. And that is all we need. And God will come through for us every single time. He will never let us down. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for your word. It's like uh, manna from heaven. Uh, we feed on it. We, we grow by it. And we trust in you, God. 
Um, I pray that as we read your word daily, let it truly be like a daily bread for us, nourishing us. And God, when we feel uh, down, when we feel discouraged, especially as we look around this world and we feel like maybe um, yeah, I'm tired, I don't want to do this anymore, whatever we may feel, God, we pray, Lord, that you would strengthen us and you would encourage us. And that we, as you said here in your word, that you are watching, that you are watching, your eyes are on us. And you're not letting anything pass, good or bad. You're going to judge the righteous and the wicked. So God, we thank you, Lord, that even though we are not perfect, that through faith that we can live a life that is in you, a life that is eternal through the blood of Jesus Christ who is over us. And there's nothing that separates us from wicked people except the blood of Jesus Christ, God. Mm -hmm. So we thank you so much for that, that grace that we don't deserve. And we pray that as we live this life daily, that we would constantly be praising you and saying you are worthy, you are awesome, you are mighty, God. And mm -hmm. God, we rely on you every day, God. And would you protect us? Would you just protect our family? Uh, would you guide our steps? God, we just want to want to live a life that is glorifying to you, but we don't want to just do Christian things, God. We want that relationship with you. God, so would you search our hearts and um, help us to repent and remove that sin from us, God, so that we can draw close to you, a holy God. God, we thank you so much for your word, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.